what's going on guys welcome welcome to the channel so today we are not here playing video games today we're doing another video people keep asking me about the settings for my microphone so today we're gonna go over that I'm not really gonna do like how to it's a little bit of a how to but it's more of like here here's my settings take them copy them use them on your own and hopefully that it works for you guys so let's get to it um, I'll show you guys what I use I use Reaper and I use one called Marvel GEQ um, and yeah let's let's check it out guys so when you're in OBS for those plugins if you go down to your mic in your audio mixer and you go to filters those plugins what you want to do is set them in here so you want to put the plus sign and then go down here and add a VS2 plugin don't use any of these don't use OBS's compressor or their expander their limiter nor noise gate none of those they're garbage don't use them use these plugins so I'll show you guys the plugins that I use the first one that I use is this Marvel GEQ it's created by Voxenga and this one is great but I only use one setting on this so the setting that I use for this one if you go in here back to the filters so what you want to do is open up that interface the only one that I use for here in this session bank is brighter and bassy that gives you that nice bass sound to your voice adds it to that microphone and just makes it sound a lot better and a lot cleaner from what I think anyways this is a great one to use so that's the only one I use for that so back to these these rest of these are all from Reaper the first one oh, I'll go to the site first and show you guys so download here download Reaper and then they have all of these they have recomp uh, re -X comp re delay re -Q, reefer so the only ones that I use guys are reefer recomp and regate just those three so the first one is reefer so let's open this up this is what this is so this is pretty much like it blocks out the sounds in the background you can see this right here how it's moving when I'm talking and then the red is what it is blocking out so my settings are you go to edit mode is precise the FFT size is 8192 mode is subtract and this is on plus 24 and this output gain is plus zero and this down here the decibels is 90 decibels so again this this right here okay if you click this what you want to do is not say a word you click check this don't talk for like 10 seconds let it do its thing let it take out all that background noise and then uncheck it and then you can talk again and it'll clear all that in the background I don't really do that very often I don't think I need it it sounds really good without me having to click on this um, but that's just one thing you can do if you are getting a little bit of that background noise so the next one I use is recomp this is the compressor so if you go in this this is what I have the threshold at it's 15.4 and again guys this could be different for everybody depending on what mic you have depending on what kind of room you're in um, what's going on around you so it could be different you're gonna have to play with all of this I was messing with all of this stuff for a long time just sitting here for days going and trying to listen to my mic and and get you know set these settings to what what they should be what and what I have them at now so it took a while so um, I have the pre comp at zero the attack time is at 3.0 and the release time is at zero it's set on classic attack the ratio is at 2.0 the knee size is at 6.2 detector input is it main input left and right I don't think I changed that it should be left just like that the low pass is at 20k Hertz high pass is at 61 Hertz and the RMS size is at 5.0 all of this over here the output mix the wet and the dry I didn't touch it at all I left it the way it is so that's how you can you know mess with your compression and then the last one I use is regate so this is at 25.9 decibels the pre-open is at 59 milliseconds the attack time is at 1 and the hold time 16 and the release time at 445 milliseconds um, down here send MIDI open gate note open gate close note is 69 and a channel one and then everything else is kind of just left 
how it is. Wet, dry, and the noise is all just left to the stock settings. I didn't touch any of that. But that's kind of how I made my mic sound this way. People keep asking me, you know, what my mic settings are. And I kept wanting to do this video and I kept putting it off. I don't know why I kept putting it off. It's not that long of a video. It didn't take that long for me to do. Um, but yeah, guys. So um, also to install these plugins, what you want to do is you want to go to your PC, um, go to your PC storage, and then go down to program files, not the 86, don't store it in the 86, it's not gonna work, you gotta install it in the regular program files, go down to OBS, um, where you at OBS, right here, OBS, and extract them right into this folder. And then they should just be in there, the next time you close out OBS, then go back in your settings here, properties, filters, and then they should be able just there should be a VST plugin right there and you should be able to add it in. Um, other than that, guys, that's kind of it. Um, I'm not gonna go over like really what everything does. This is more of just copy and paste it to your settings. I'm not like an audio engineer or anything. I just literally sat here and and watched some videos and then just messed with my own for literally days. It took me a while to get the settings. But I hope this helps you guys out. I know it'll help you guys out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, um, let me know how these settings made your microphone sound. I'd like to know how it worked because I was using about these same settings on my old microphone. And now I have this new HyperX Quadcast S. And it, it, you know, I really didn't have to mess with anything too much. It was kind of the same settings. Um, but yeah. Hope this helps everybody, and I hope you guys subscribe. Let me know if it works, and I will see you guys on the next video. Later, y'all.